Greetings, brethren. This is Emmanuel Fernandez, Biblical Science. This topic is uh, continuance in the Blessed Hope. I feel like I need to continue more about the Blessed Hope. It's not the Rapture. Rapture is a Jesuit Jesuit creation. That's verifiable. Rapture is a Jesuit creation to destroy. Uh, there's an agenda to destroy. Whether you know it or not, it doesn't matter if you know you're part of the agenda or not. But there's an agenda. Agenda. To destroy our blessed hope, to destroy our rewards that we're going to get and our crowns that we're going to get for expecting the blessed hope. These date setters, ye shall not know the hour and the day where the Lord's house come. Not even the angels know when I'm coming. That's what Jesus Christ says. Only my Father. So, yeah, all these date setters, what they're doing, if they're unsaved, God's going to punish them. High degree of hell, hellfire. If they say they're going to get chastisement, severe chastisement. That's why I'm going to. Do Blessed Hope Part 2 slash Dispensationalism and Stewardship. Uh, yeah, Rapture. You use that word Rapture. Even if you don't, you, you could use Rapture but still mean Blessed Hope. I'm talking I'm talking people who use the words so you don't mislead people. That's why the devil is the author of confusion. You can use, you can mean good something using the devil's words. Rapture. It's not really the devil's words. Let's say it's not accurate. Be accurate. Blessed hope. Bible refers to it as the blessed hope or the glorious appearing. That's in the Bible. Or oh, is it is it rapture? Yes, it's come from the Greek word harpazo, means to get caught up. Yeah, that's once in the Bible. We get caught up, Paul says. But it's blessed hope. I'm I'm okay with blessed hope and appearing. I, I like blessed hope. That's what I'm gonna call this video, blessed hope. So yeah, I'm gonna pull out real good arguments to these mid post strippers because remember you have the mindset of Christ how does Christ answer questions with a question what do you know Socrates one of the the greatest Greek philosophers in my mind I think Socrates the gadfly method question everything that's why the government said can't have this kill this guy that's why they burned all his rooks Socrates exists you know he's a historical figure by one fact the works of his disciples. If his disciples are dead, you wouldn't know who he was. They killed him too, you wouldn't know who he was. They killed him, but their works survived. So Jesus answers the question with a question. So I'm going to answer a question with a question. Uh, you're, you're questioning me, why do I believe? I know, not believe. No, this is so. I told, I thanks God for answering my prayers in Jesus' name. You got to be thankful. One of my prayers to God was, God, if you tell me it's post-trib, I believe it. I don't want to believe it, but I believe it. I'm I'm taught to obey the truth. Convict me, Lord. It's so overboard. It's getting ridiculous. This is like evolution. I, ha ha I hate to go there, but if you're a middle post-tribber, you might as well believe in evolution. That's how ridiculous this is becoming. This is dangerous. You're, 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 you're causing people to go back to their iniquity. You're causing people to go back to sin to death. You have no idea how serious this is. That's why I'm making another video. That's why I'm making another video on Blessed Hope. These I'm talking to you mid or post tribbers saved or not saved. Which, what do you know? All these post tribbers are good friends. Pastor Anderson, what is his name? Steve Anderson. Ken Hoven, post tribbers, post tribbers. And they and they work with new age people. Just thought. And they preach no repentance gospel. No any repentance. Faith is good enough. Oh, you want me to use the Bible? Believe on Jesus Christ and be saved. See, I'm a one-verse theologist. I said, think of more than one verses. That's why I say in my Blessed Hope video, the first one, do I just name three verses? I name 11, and I'm going to add some more right here. I'm going to destroy. Will I destroy your belief that it's middle portion? No, absolutely not. Make you think? Absolutely. And if you heard in my previous video, it's up to you what you do with it. But you'll do three things. Your sin and ignorance. Well, you, uh, first of all, you're already ignorant if you don't know. It's blessed hope is the way. Pre, you sin. No, it's made of post trip. I refuse to accept what he's talking about. I'm not obeying the truth. Willful sin. You're not saved. You willfully sinned. According to that doctrine of you sin once willfully, you're not saved. You willfully sin. Or maybe he's on something. I'm not going to research it. Willful ignorance. Three parts of sin. Ignorant sin, willful ignorance, and willful sin. So, but I'm not gonna talk about that. I talked about that in my previous video. 
video, The Doctrine of Willful Sin. This is Blessed Hope slash Dispensationalism and Stewardship. Why? Because they are related more than you know. Where to start with the Blessed Hope? The Blessed Hope. He can come at any moment. He can come now or a thousand years from now. That's what that means. Oh, that's unbelievable. That's, that's, how, that's how you know the Bride of Christ will be sanctified. I'm not going to want to think relive my sin, which is a sin. Just relive it in my head. If I know he might appear any moment. I'm not going to entertain a sin, which is a sin. Just to entertain it. Why he might appear any moment. It's to sanctify me. Oh yeah, I can get a lot of sanctification in the thought where he's not, he's not coming until the seven years is over. Yeah, I'll be sanctified. Yeah. My heart's going to be hardened. God. What's the point of me being in the tribulation? I thought it was for the tribulation saints and for the Israel to repent. You still have me in the tribulation? Well, of course, I'm saved. I'm going to be there. I'm talking about a saved person, hypothetically speaking. Well, why you have me here? This makes no sense. Of course, it doesn't make no sense. Of course, I'm not going to sanctify it. I'm, I'm going to want to walk back to iniquity and go back to, so you can kill me, sin unto death. I'm going to start doubting my salvation. Willful sin. My helmet is going to dissipate, not going to be strong. Uh oh, no. That, you, lose your, you can lose your helmet, your armor. People forget that. Those are gifts. Gifts can be, well, I don't say lose, but if you stop using it, devil attacks you. You stop using your helmet, salvation, you don't put it on, flaming arrows are coming. Come on, you're not saved. It's made a post trip. That's what Satan's talking to me. You're not saved. You don't even get that mid post. It's mid post trip, blessed hope. It's not pre trip. It's mid post trip. What are you talking about? No. That armor is important. You probably need to talk about the armor next. Put on your whole armor of God. I hear people talking about shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, the Bible, breastplate of righteousness, that God's righteousness is imputed onto you. Helmet, sorry, helmet is the most important one. Go in battle if you're a knight in the Middle East ages without a helmet. See how far you go. I see you from far away, flaming arrow, a real one. Dead. Come on, helmet is the most important piece of your armor. They really are important. That's the most important. Without my helmet, I'm not going to war, spiritual warfare. No way. That's probably why I say, God, I don't think I'm, that's why you probably said you're not ready to do this ministry five months ago. You have your helmet. It's strong. He's ready. This is boot camp. Endure hardness as a good soldier for Jesus Christ. Okay, I've done my boot camp, Lord. Send me out. That's why you need to see it. See it as spiritual warfare. For we wrestle not against blood and flesh. You're not against your mother. You're against the mystery and iniquity behind her. You're fighting flesh and blood cannot fight flat, uh, spirit, but we do so every day trying to commit good works by the flesh. Your flesh cannot please God. This is a spiritual war. Spirit against spirit. I'm a spirit. Oh yeah, I'm using physical body, but I'm in the spirit firing spiritual beings that assume that are behind physical people. The Jesuit order I don't hate the black Pope, Adolf Nicholas. I hate the iniquity that he, I hate his sin. Pastor Anderson he says it very clearly. This is how you know he's of the devil. No, I don't hate the sin of the homosexual. I don't know if he said that. He said something to that effect. I don't hate the sin of the homosexual. I hate him, the person. I want him dead. He said it to reporters everywhere. Oh, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my goodness. But I already talked about him in the... No repentance gospel video. This is, I'm going to stay on track. This is very important. This is the blessed hope. I'm going to make two arguments. Put it through the fire. Remember, I say put it through the fire in the Bible. It's see if it holds. If the fire consumes it, it's not biblical. If it doesn't, it stands the test of the fire. Just like your faith is trials of fire. If it stands the test of the fire of the Bible, God is a consuming fire. Then we know if I'm right or wrong. So, blessed hope. Uh, I think it's a Jesuit, these mid postures. I think it's a Jesuit cre creation. The devil likes dissension, even among brethren. Remember, I only keep talking Jesuits, it's not Illuminati, they created them. Yeah, I think just like it's the rapture, these date setters was a Jesuit cr creation. There's a video on YouTube about that. This is a Jesuit creation, too, these mid post trips, because whether you like it or not, if you're not, if you're not looking for. Jesus Christ, then you're looking for the Antichrist. This one or the other. This is absolute. Think about it. 
if you're a mid or post shavers, I don't care if you're saved or not. If you're not looking for the, the Antichrist, if you're not looking for Jesus Christ, then you're looking for the false Christ. That's what Antichrist means. It does not mean against Christ. False. Pseudo. The devil does not want to be... The devil knows he's against God. Why did not why does he need to be against God? He's against God when he sent. He wants to be like him. He wants to be him. And a Christ is pseudo Christ. It's a false Christ. Okay? That's why the Pope calls him Vicar of Christ. I'm just as good as the Vic Christ. I'm the Vicar of Christ. No. The Holy Ghost in you is the Vicar of Christ. Pseudo will replace me. Because they're all even in essence, not even in roles. Holy Ghost does what Jesus Christ says. I will send the Comforter to you. Comforter is the Holy Ghost. Capital C. In the Bible guide so yeah I'm gonna come up with two arguments that's gonna make you think and I hope for the unbelievers they repent for the believers they confess remember believers don't repent believers don't repent believers confess I know they might mean confess you're gonna lose people which is the devil does this on purpose in the words you choose when you talk about biblical doctrine I know I already messed up plenty of times uh, I, I watch my own videos. I didn't mean to say that word. I'm, I'm guilty of it. Make sure you use the word correctly. You confess your sins after you're saved. You repent. I'm talking what kind of repentance? Godly repentance. But I'm not going to talk about repentance because I already did. This is blessed hope. Even though I know I said I'm not. <laughs> A lot of stuff I got to say, guys. This is me pouring out the knowledge imparted to me by the Holy Ghost. Bear with me. So, yeah, this is uh, the blessed hope. 100% without a doubt, I know and I believe it's pre tribute. Not damn you, there I go again. See how it's so easy. It's pre 70th week of Daniel. Pre, I'm um, pre 70 week of Daniel. Blessed hope, not rapture. Blessed hope, glory superior. I'm gonna make two really good arguments that actually got off of a guy did, that did a ministry, YouTube ministry. Like I said, I'm gonna name names in a good or bad way. He, he, as if I need it, he made it even stronger, my conviction, how uh, it is pre-trib, pre-70-week Daniel, that, that I didn't include in my video. So I'm including it now. Because God, God knows how weak your mind is. The mind is weak. Do not lean to your own understanding. He knows. Be honest with yourself. Being saved is all about being 100% honest with yourself. Man, I see you. It's not doubt. You're your little... Manual, you're a little waving. You, it's a little. I see a little chink on your armor there, son. About armor, what armor? Armor about you thinking it, it might have a point with this mid post trip. So I'm gonna send this guy to you that I watched yesterday. Okay, thank you, Lord. That's what God does. Hold every thought captive. Hold every thought captive. Natural response. We are, we are told to hold our natural response bondage. Oh no, I will not accept that thought. Maybe. Mortify the deeds of the flesh. No. Good example of, I, I mean, I know I'm straight off course, but this is important that guy in Bible flop box, I don't know his name, but you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Look up Bible flop box. He's an Arminianist. How? How do I know? He says you can lose your salvation. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. He invoked King James scripture. Don't tell me that I was, I didn't sin. I was on the way to sin when even. For a split second, I was like this. You ever like this? I didn't sin. The God's like, okay. He's like, come on, but come on. He told you to pray. Of course, he's gonna. Even a split second, even a split second, it's not. A, it might have been sin. I don't know. Ignorant sin. Well, me look it up. God, Lord, convict me. No, it's sealed by the day of redemption. No one can pluck me out of my Father's hand. See how depraved you are. Total depravity. Ultra. No, I didn't say, yeah, I believed it. I just said, that's how thought forms in your head. You go like this. Temptation is not a sin. I was tempted. If I'm in sin, then Christ is sin. He was tempted by the devil. He was he was tempted not to go to the cross. Oh God, if it's possible, let this cup pass me. Don't tell me temptation is a sin. Temptation is not a sin. I was tempted by his... You know why I was tempted? I, I'm taught to obey the truth. He's using scripture. The branches cut off. If he does not produce... Through the fire. That's what he used. It's not King James. It's, it's King James. Lord convict me. And he did. No. Sealed to the day of redemption. Even Ken Hovind and Anderson knows it's eternal. But they might switch. Ken Hovind was pre-trib 40 years. Post-trib. 
after he got out of jail. They, all these post strippers, I'm just saying, birds of a feather flock together. I'm just saying. So let's get right into it. This goes for mid or post trip because it's it's one or the other with God. So these mid trippers, they already know they know what they're talking about. Either either go all the way. Post trip. This is mid trip nonsense. Devil's the author of confusion. So let's go ahead and start with the first argument. I'm speaking hypothetically is hypothetically speaking. What do I mean by that? Why are you talking to me like a kid? I have to talk like a kid because I told you the devil assaulted the English language. He twists his words what, what they means are. There's no such thing as homosexual back in the 1900s. Okay? It was only sodomite. Out of thin air, homosexual comes. That's what I'm going to explain. Hypothetically is, example, figuratively speaking. I'm not going to find every word because this will be 10 hours if I define every word what I mean by that. Got you spiritual discernment. Hypothetically speaking, I'm a... I'm a saved person. I'm a saved person in uh well before going into blessed hope uh, you have to be a good teacher remember you have to be taught and be a good teacher that's the fruit of the spirit let me cover dispensation and stewardships if you're not a dispensationalist which is in the bible one word that one that word is once in the bible i think it's in ephesians dispensationalism dispensation stewardships that's in the bible if you're not that i uh, Question your walk. I'm not questioning your salvation, but I question your walk. You have to be a Berean. You know what that is? Chuck Mister says a Berean is someone that dissects the scripture like 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 I'm dissecting a cadaver. Knowing every intricacy of the body, how it works. He doesn't he doesn't make up doctrine and hang it on one verse. He keeps going. Be a Berean. Don't worry, I'll I'll demonstrate. Uh dispensation is you know that uh, the Bible talks to certain people. Oh yeah, everybody benefits to it. Use your discernment. Who is the Bible talking to primarily here? Book of Hebrews. You think it's primarily talking to you as a Gentile? What's the name of the book? It's to his Hebrew people. Remember I told you God is a racist? Oh yeah, he's no respecter of persons. Yes. But Paul said, I will preach to the Jew first and then the Gentile. He says that phrase ten, four times in his epistles. To the Jew first and then the Gentile. To the Jew first and then the Gentile. Yes, to everybody, but this is the Jewish people's apple of my eye. Who touches, touches me harm. The Jewish people will, shall touch the apple of my eye. Dispensation. The guy that I saw on the, new, on the YouTube ministry, he said the book of James is to the Hebrew people. I need to investigate. I'm not going to be woefully ignorant. I accept it, so I'm not. Yes. Yes, the Bible is not directed to everybody. The Ten Commandments is the Mosaic Law to the people, not to you. We just throw it away. No. It's the, the, the law is written on your hearts. It's a guideline. It's not a rule. To all you legalists, phar Pharisees. There's still Pharisees here, just like back in the day, and they're all going to go to hell. Are you legalist? No, it means this. There's no exceptions. Don't tell me there's no exceptions. Some scriptures of the Bible is exceptions. I'm not going to obey this government. It's, it's of the devil. Romans 13, obey government. No. He who ceases to abide in God's word, a uh, government that doesn't abide by God's word, is no government. There's going to be a law to go ahead, turn over Jews. It's coming. See what you're going to do. I already talked about that in the previous video. Turn it, you have Jews hiding in your house, like, the, like World War II. He who does not understand history will repeat it. Don't learn from history. Do you have any Jews here in your house? Remember, I'm the government, minister, of God. Turn them in, any guns? Bible, they're going to come. That's coming. Judgment. When Iran bombs Israel. I'll bless those that bless thee, I'll curse those who curse thee. So dispensation, different ages. Okay? You need to distinguish, discern, divide the truth. Who's he talking to? Here. Endure to the end, ye shall be saved. Who is he talking to? Is it to me? Why am I getting this conviction from the Holy Ghost? It's not to me. Well, I can learn from it. So I can edify people as I'm doing in this video. As I'm doing in this video. But who is he talking to? So, dispensation. Okay? You have to know that the Bible. Remember, the Bible is a lot of authors and it's written to different people. Not that you can't learn from it. 
Bible has books that are primarily directed to a certain group of people and not, and not. He who is not believing me is condemned already. Is, is that to a saved person? Oh, yeah, that's to me. That's to an unsaved person. Primary. Can I learn from that? Absolutely. Separate. Who is he primarily talking to? But anyway, you can bet. Who's his prime focus? So let me go into Blessed Hope. Stewardships. Mid post strippers. If you're mid post strippers, you're not a dispensationist. Don't lie, say you are. If if you are, go and confess to God, have him convict you, go back and do your homework. Don't say you're a dispensationist and you're a mid or post stripper. Don't tell me you're a stewardship. Yeah, yeah, he's right about that. Different different it's it's to different groups of people. To Jews, some are to Jews, some are to Gentiles, kings, people in government. The family, some are to the father, some are to saves, unsaved, yeah. But I'm a made or post stripper. No. Contra you're contradicting yourself. God's not an author of confusion. So hypothetically speaking, hypothetically speaking, I'm not gonna discuss mid trip. It's either you're in or out, so I'm gonna throw that out. I'm a post stripper. Just say I'm a post stripper. And I know I'm saved. There's no belief. He shall know she he ye shall have an everlasting life. No. Helmet of salvation. How strong it is? How strong is the armor? How much can it withstand? Depends how much you yield to the Holy Ghost. Mine's nowhere. It will never be to where I want it. That's good. That show that keeps me humble. That I can't justify my salvation. I get my reward for being humble. That's good. That's good. So I'm a post stripper. I'm a post trip. 70 week a day hasn't happened yet. This member, hypothetically speaking. I'm allegorically speaking. Yes, your hermeneutics, you read the Bible literally. Literally, thousand year reign. But use some common sense, some discernment. Okay, Jesus Christ is talking about parable. I'm going to make an allegory. I'm speaking allegorically here. I'm a, I'm a post tripper. Strong belief. Post tripper. And I'm a dispensationist. I'm a stewardship man too. So I'm deceiving myself because scripturally is not biblical. It's her heretical. I'm a post stripper. 70 week of Daniel hasn't happened yet. It's before. I'm a post stripper. This was going through my head. What are these pre trippers talking about? Blessed hope. Uh, before before the same week. Damn, blessed hope is after. Don't worry, I'll still be sanctified. Yeah, I know the same week Daniel is the it's hell on earth. It's the worst. You thought the last 2,000 years was worse on Christians? You yeah, haven't seen nothing yet. We underestimate the 70 week of Daniel. This is hell on earth. This is literally, this is not figuratively speaking. God re removes his hand of protection out across the whole earth. It says, devil, go to town. Yeah, he's going to do that to the body of Christ. He's, yeah, he's going to do that to the body of Christ. But anyways, those thoughts are raging into my head. Damn, why God's real cruel. He's he's I'm saved, I'm body of Christ. Light and, and darkness can't exist in the same place. This is what he's thinking, whether you can miss it or not. Uh remember, I'm a I'm a, a post stripper. He's gonna come after the 70th week of Daniel. I'm setting this the narrative. I'm post stripper and it hasn't happened yet. This is a thought stranger in my mind. And God is so cruel. Yes, he'll probably say that. How can it, uh, it talk, Bible talks about sanctification, how uh, Jesus Christ's bride has to be holy, spot without blemish. How am I going to do that if I'm going to go through the tribulation? It's going to harden my heart towards God. That's what he's thinking. That's what he's thinking, whether you miss it or not. I'm gonna, my heart's going to be hardened. How can I be holy without bl blemish? I'm going to want to sin. Willfully, ignorantly, I don't care. I have to go through this hell, seven year hell. God's hand of protection is not going to be on the earth. Probably demons going to be, you can see demons, p the pits of hell's going to open, you see demons flying around everywhere. Yeah, you guys underestimate the same week of Daniel. No, no, he'll make you go through it. No, God will not put you in a temptation that you cannot, he knows you cannot handle. I don't care how strong you are. He knows what you can take and what you can't take. Don't, don't lecture me. So yeah, uh, I'm going to narrate before, I'm going to narrate towards the end. This is a story. It's allegorical, but I'm making a point. So he's, all those thoughts are raging through his mind. Okay. Seven-year tribulation starts. We're at the point where it's uh, there's no money. 
and I'm a family man. I have five kids. And I hold truth to that scripture. He who does not provide for his own is worse than an infidel. Book of Timothy. Worse than an infidel. Worse than an unbeliever. Pretty harsh. Damn, I'm going to... This is what he's thinking. There's no money here. Remember, the dollar crashed. I'm going to have to take the mark of the beast. He's thinking about it. I'm going to have to take the mark of the beast to provide for my family. I'm going to have to take... That's, this is what the guy said. Not me. He made this argument. It's not really an argument. It's a really good point. This guy in the YouTube ministry. I'm going to have to consider, maybe not take, consider. Remember, God doesn't want you to question your, yourself like this. Yes, question, examine your faith, but not like this. I'm going to have to consider. The devil loves this. He's out of confusion. I'm going to have to consider taking the mark of the beast. Seriously consider it. How am I going to provide for my family? He who does not provide for his family is worse than an infidel. His own. And, and and I know, knowing scripture, he who takes the mark of the beast will feel the wrath of God. And basically, I say is saying, you're not saved. I know I can't lose my salvation. See how the devil has you going one way out. Talk of war. This is what the devil does to believers and unbelievers. One, one side is your sinful nature. If you're saved, other side is the Holy Ghost. If you're not saved, you, or you think you're saved is the Holy Ghost, but this side you're going back and forth. Um, he's weighing, don't provide for his family, denying the faith, being a worse than infidel. But, but uh, if I don't, if if I do take it, I'm not saved. I know I can't lose my salvation. I'm confused here. Of course you're confused. Author of confusion, the devil. I'm confused here. This is what you're doing. You pull strippers. Very serious what you're doing. I'm not saying you're not saved, but it's very serious what you're doing. It's not the blessed hope anymore. You turned it into the cursed hope. Suffer through these seven years. Take comfort in those words. You get beaten up. My bride's going to get beaten up. I'm going to let her destroy her. Get beaten up. Blemish everywhere. Yeah, you'll be sanctified. Yes, the, it makes sense. The Holy Ghost is going to be on earth by the end of Christ is here. Yeah, we're going to have Vicar of Christ on both ends. The proposed Vicar of Christ and the actual Vicar of Christ, which is the body of Christ. Holy Ghost is in us. In the, on earth. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Spiritual discernment. So I'm, here's my question. Remember, I'm going to answer a question with a question. You're a post tripper and you're in, I'm, now I'm talking to saved people. Answer this. What are you going to do? You're going to take the mark of the beast? Then you're not saved. Remember, you can't lose your salvation. You're not going to take it. There's no money. Dollar crashed. You have to provide your family. Are you, inf you worse than an infidel? Question. Let that simmer. Let that marinate in your mind. Let that simmer. It's not the blessed hope no more. It's cursed. It's the blessed hope. Blessed means from God. Now hope as of yourselves. It's the blessed hope. It's the blessed hope because it's from God. That hope is not a spiritual gift. It make I'm not I, I will hate sin even more, which is, God wants you to hate sin. God remember God is love. So if you use that word hate, I think you might want to listen to him like you never listened to him before. He wants you to hate sin, and I can't hate sin like he wants me to if I'm a post-tribber. I'm going to be honest with myself. No, my heart's going to be hardened. This is the worst hell. No, my heart's going to be hardened towards God. This is a safe person talking if he believes post-trib. So what you going to do? What you going to do? So let me take this scripture that people like to twist and turn. I don't know who you see primarily talking to. Remember, I'm being honest. I don't know who you primarily talking to, but I know anyone, everyone can benefit from this. Matthew, he who endures to the end shall be saved. You're using that argument, see? Post trip. Endure to the end. He'll save you. I thought I was already saved. It saved the process. No, sanctification is the process. I was saved on February 8th. I'm saved. Sealed. That time. Prick my heart. Faith of the gospel. That time. So what are you saying? You sound like, you're, you're talking like an Arminianist. Do I have? This sounds like a work. Endure? Is that a, a spiritual discernment? Endure to the end. That sounds like a work. So you can be saved. No. No. Endure to the end so you'll be saved. I think it's primarily for the state of Israel. Because 70 week of Daniel, the purpose is to convict. Last call to salvation now. You guys won't listen to me. 
when I have my hand of protection of you over the earth now, let me take it out. Now you you better listen this is the last call to convict you. My body of Christ is gone. They're not here to convict you no more. They're out of here. So it's it's to convict you. So the, the semi weekly Daniel is his purpose. Everybody talks about semi weekly Daniel, but do you know what's his purpose? Are you a Berean? What's his purpose? That's his purpose. It's for Israel, the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, you don't want to accept the real Jesus Christ, take the false Christ here, and then get back to me when you know who you know who he really is. So God's saying to the state of Israel. But no, everyone can benefit. Endure endure to the end and you'll be saved is 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 primarily to Israel, but it's also for the tribulation saints. I don't hear that word around. This is unsaved people that can be saved, provided they do a work. Uh oh, he's being heretical. Work salvation. You better believe it. And there's exceptions. And this is the only one. Work salvation applies to here. This is God's way of saying to the unsaved person in the in the state of tribulation. You should have listened to people like Emmanuel telling you, follow Christ. You should have been saved. I'm not gonna let you off the hook. You're gonna suffer. In the seven year tribulation. I'm gonna prick your heart. You can smack my hand away, not if you're the elect, you're not, but you can smack my hand away. Smack my head away, hand away, accept that mark. You are that's done. Your last chance is gone. God through foreknowledge, he knows that people is gonna say, Okay, here's another story. I'm I'm unsaved. So it doesn't matter, mid pitch post trip. I'm unsaved. I don't believe in Jesus Christ. I reject them, which is an unforgivable sin. And I'm in the tribulation. And I'm looking around. Everything the Bible says and these people was convicting me is true. Oh my God. I don't know if I use God's as vain in vain. There you go. That's debatable. I can't believe this. What am I going to do? Okay, he's getting it. Well, of course, I, this is God talking to you. Of course, I know he's going to get it because I got foreknowledge. I me prick his heart. Godly sorrow. Repentance. I get it, God. I get it. Give me faith to believe. I want to believe. There you go. Are you saved? Absolutely not. This is an unsaved person in, in, in the state of tribulation. All you Bereans, all you truly saved people, it's not going to say he's a heretic. You're not going to do that. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about unsaved person in 70 week of Daniel. And he's coming up to the hour of temptation, which is accepting the mark of the beast. Remember, he's saved by faith and grace and faith and repentance. But I thought there's no works. Well, I'm sorry. Here's the exception. I told you those exceptions. Don't tell me there's no exception. This is an exception. God convicted me to say this is true. And you're supposed to obey the truth. Sorry if you don't have spiritual discernment. Sorry. He did this man, which I believe he was saved. I'll probably come back and tell you his name. I, I, I strongly believe he's saved because I don't hear no one talk about that. I thought it was heresy. He's talking work salvation. That's heresy. It's just like you're probably talking to me right now. What is he talking about? That's the one only exception. No other exception. That's what that endure to the end you shall be saved. Tribulation saints. Relief for state religion. you. So I'm unsaved. I'm in the 70 week of Daniel. I realize the error of my ways. Now I get it. Some, the hard headed have to feel it to believe it. I'm feeling it now. People killing people. You thought this world was depraved now. Hell on earth, literal. I get it. My heart's pricked. I said, okay, am I saved? Absolutely not. Except the mark of the beast. I, I will not accept the mark of the beast. Because if I do, I know I'm not saved. I will not accept it. That's a work. It's a work, but it's you so you until the Holy Ghost. So really, really, I don't like to use that word work because you're, you're throwing it off. Let's just say it's a test of faith. Which is really work, but it's a test of faith because you're not doing it in your own will. I'll talk about that next. Uh, God, uh, I'll, I'll talk about that. Uh, how God has roles, and you you supposed to fully walk, yield to the fully in God's will. It's either you're in God's will, or you're not. No matter if it's good or bad. I refuse to take the mark of the beast. I'm talking as an unsaved person. I've been pricked. I've even received faith of gospel. That tells me I have no fear of man. Which you're not a man. You're, I know you're Satan incarnated. 
But I had absent for the body, it's present with the Lord. Go ahead and cut my head. Quick and painless. God gave me the courage to withstand it. God gave me, not in my own courage, not in my own will. Head gets chopped off, I'm a tribulation saved. I'm saved. Praise God. That's how people say God's fear. No, God's not fear. God's fear. Everyone go to hell. He just owe his grace to anybody. I'm not sending my son. You, when Adam sinned, we all sinned. I don't, owe, I don't owe my grace to anybody. I'll show who I want to show compassion to. But since I'm, my grace is beyond your comprehension, I'm generous beyond your comprehension, accept the gospel, repent, don't get, get beheaded, die for me, because Jesus Christ said it. He who has not sacrificed his life for me is not one of my disciples. He's my disciple. Yes, yes, I desire, remember, God has desires that won't be fulfilled. He desires everyone goes to heaven. You know, that's not going to be fulfilled. I desired him to, to get saved before the tribulation. I do not enjoy seeing people punished. God thinks we enjoy the same punishment. No, it grieves them. The devil does. Why didn't he just wake up pre-trib and get saved before? But praise God. Let me prick this heart. He received faith. Go ahead, cut my head off. Why do I live in this world of hell? I'm not of the world no more. I'm a children of light. Send me to my father. You're doing me a favor. I'll pray for you. It, they're all damned anyways, but that's how he acts. He thanks them. Thank you. Chop my head. Tribulation shame. He who endures to the end shall be saved. If I didn't do that, I'm not going to do no more. Two is enough. Really, that one was enough. So I use scripture back and forth. Ken Hove in his book saying, looking for Christ, and he's twisting that. That's an imminent word, looking as in right now, we twist words. We don't understand our words. Look up entomology, how, what words really mean. Do I have to make another video of etymology? How devil has corrupt words, English language. You know, he corrupts, he's a corrupter of word. Not only God's word, words in general. I'm talking to you in English language. You don't think he corrupt my words in this video? No, he didn't mean that. If you had, that's what discernment mean, means. Okay, he didn't mean that. He used that word, but he didn't mean that. He means this. Come on. Come on, guys. 100% I know, just like I'm saying, 100% I know pre-trib. All I'm saying, these post-tribbers, they keep some really interesting company. Post-tribbers, they all like each other. I think Alex Jones is a post-tribber. He's not saying why is he any tribber. He's a Jesuit coadjutor, but I think he's a post-tribber. They're all good friends with each other. Alex Jones, Pastor Steve Anderson, and uh, Ken Hoven. They're all on the Alex Jones show. Look it up. All of them. Good friends. They're all post strippers. What a coincidence. There's no coincidence in, in the Bible. Luck. Those are, all sat those are satanic words. Luck. Well, you're a very lucky guy. You may not know what you're using in that con context. There's no such thing as luck. No such thing as coincidence. I believe in the providence of God. Everything happens for a reason. Just like when I said I did this video before and it went out on me. It, it, the battery died. That's God letting Satan do that and saying, Let's see if he yields. He talked for an hour, almost loses his breath. Let's see if he'll do this. is God saying this. Let's see if he'll do that again. I let Satan do that. Let's see. Test. Everything's a test. Let's see if he'll do that again. Do it again. You think this is this is effort right here? I'm sweating. Having eaten. Neck pain everywhere. This is work. This is effort. That's why I will get a reward. Don't tell me I, I don't earn rewards. Yeah, next I'll talk about rewards, how, what you guys are doing, you post shivers to save believers. But yeah, he said, let's see if we'll do it again. You better believe I'll do it again. That was I tempted not to? Absolutely. I'm yielding though. Got my armor. I'm doing it again. It crashes right now. I don't care. I'm doing it again. Have to buy a computer, pay 400 bucks. I want to do it again. Sun sinking in? I'm going to do it again. So this is what you're doing. Whether you know what you're doing or not, I'm talking about your your rewards and your crown. Use post tribbers. First of all, the Bible warns he who corrupts this book, corrupts the word, will severely get punished. Something to that effect. Blessed are those who keep the prophecies of this book, or else I'll blot them out of the book of life. Now that's a piece of scripture right there. It sounds like hmm, that sounds like you can lose your salvation. I know better. I'm going to probably look that up and make a video about that. There's a quote right there. Arminianist. See? Blot out. How can it be blotted out? I'm going to go and discern and pray on that. 
God's gonna watch, probably make a video tomorrow. This is what he means by that. Or better yet, Eric Phelps made a a, a radio show about eternal salvation. Why? Because I told him to. He's my brethren. I didn't tell him. Holy Ghost told me to tell him. I emailed him. He made it. What do you know? See how we connect, the brethren? Love the brethren. He made a radio show, Eternal Salvation. We listened to that again. And he uses scriptures that people use to justify you can lose your salvation. So I'll look that up. But you prib trib uh, you post tribbers are thieves. Which is a sin. I thought stealing is physical stealing. No. Stealing is anything. Stealing is so general. Uh, my father's coming back. He, who's in the war? He's not coming back. I'm doubting you. You're saved. He's not coming back. He's going to get killed. Well, if it's in the province of God, he will kill. But I'm stealing your hope. That's the hope. Of him coming. He's not coming back. I'm a thief. See how easy it is to sin? Don't tell me I didn't willfully say that. Uh, well, you can't willfully sin. You lost your salvation. Steal is very general. You post-trib thieves. Remember, I was post-trib. Yes, I was. I was post-trib. You, you, you almost stole my crown of righteousness for love and disappearing. Look up Blessed Hope 1. And you stole my reward on what the rapture means to me. Amy, you thought God's will, my salvation drives me before? Okay, what drives you is your salvation because you're saved. Blessed Hope, pre-trib, puts it into overdrive. Phew, what, like Star Wars Enterprise, warp speed. Four speed now. Pew, fast speed of light. You kidding me? I don't. Any sin comes to mind, I hope cap. I don't want to, nothing to do with it. Even though I know I told you to pray, I probably sinned yesterday. Ignorant, willfully. I know, told you to pray. It's not that I'm not going to sin. I, I hate it. Not as much as God. That's impossible. But it's increased. That's what blessed hope is all about. Increases your hate for sin. That's what it does. And through that, you're sanctified. Sanctification, set apart, holy, made holy. When I, can, can I guess the season when he's coming? I mean, I can't guess the day or hour, but I can guess the season. Don't tell me I can't guess the season. When he sees this, looks, or Jesus Christ looks down, Father, this is Jesus Christ looking down. Remember, he's physically at the throne of his Father, waiting to make his enemies footstool. He's not on earth. His vicar, his spirit is. I'm talking about his physical body. When you see him, you can touch him physically. Which is not such thing as physical, but you know what I mean. He's at the throne. He's going to talk to his Father. Father. Looking down. See a lot of guys that are mid trip, post trip. They're saved, but don't worry, I'll let them have it after judgment because when I judge their works, when it gets consumed in the fire, I give them no rewards. But I see quite a few but uh sanctified, holy, bride of Christ. It's time. I'm coming. That's what he's gonna say. Okay, I'm coming down, get my bride. Because that guy, I can't verify that guy on that YouTube video, he said. Jesus Christ is the one that releases Antichrist. Oh, I thought it was Illuminati, the Jesuit order. I thought it was Jesuit order. No. You don't do nothing without God's approval. God unleashes Antichrist. Okay, you don't want to accept the Christ? I'll send you a Christ, the Antichrist. He opens the first seal. Sounds like it's real cruel. Okay, body of Christ, you withstand. Sorry to be sarcastic. I have to take this seven years of hell. It's not going to save people. Endure to the hand, you'll be saved. No, you're already saved. But endure to the hand while I open up the seal and unleash pure hell on the earth. No. We take my body of Christ up and then open the seal. Noah, I'm about to destroy this earth. Build an ark. My wrath comes. Lot, you're righteous. Get your family out of here. Sodom and Gomorrah is going up in flame, but not until you get out. He will be led out of the way, and then the wicked shall be revealed. That's the body of Christ. You almost cost me my crown. Remember, I said I was a king. King, prophet, Christ-like, disciple. You, you almost cost me my crown. You made the post strippers. These. And my reward. God will chasten you if you're a child of God or severely punish you if you're not. Okay? We're supposed to do everything. I Remember, mindset of Christ. Are you Christ? No. Do you have his mindset? Absolutely. Do you have his paradigm? Is his operating system, his paradigm is in one with yours? Absolutely not. But is it getting there? Yes, it's getting there. He'll know when it gets there when you die. That's why I know when God takes you, people say, when does God kill you? Okay, he's he's got it. He's fully got it. His paradigm is on him with my son. Send him up. 
Devil, okay, take the hand protection out of Emmanuel, kill him. Up you go. Praise God. Absent from the body is present with the Lord. Ha your mindset has to be that of on the way to that of Christ. People see as he sees the world. New outlook, new paradigm, new mode of thinking. And one of and how, you only do that by yielding by to his vicar of Christ. I'm not talking about the Pope, but the Holy Ghost is the vicar of Christ. That's why Pope Francis says, No, I'm the vicar of Christ. Yield to your vicar of Christ. And you will be Christ-like. You will be sanctified. And I believe this. Whenever we see, okay, we, the body of Christ can't get no. That's what Jesus is saying. Body of Christ can't get no sanctified like they are now. It's time for me to come and then open the seal. Then let the end of Christ come. This is what you guys are doing. You're destroying. You're turning the blessed hope into a cursed hope. Like I said, don't tell I'm not yielding to the Holy Ghost because I wasn't even planning on. Remember, planning is good. Some things, big things, you got to plan. But if you plan on things like this, you're doing things in the flesh. I told you, you get judged on how much work you do on the spirit. Things you're doing in your own power, God will set it off and burn in the fire. I'm talking to save people when they judge when you judge you by your works. I wasn't even planning on doing this, bless hope. But God put it on my heart. When people, I always used to say, what did people talk about? God put it on your heart. This is what they're talking about right here. Spiritual discernment. He put on my heart. Go ahead and talk about this. Blessed Hope, part two. Talk about it in detail because it's very serious. Two things that drive a saved Christian. One is salvation. No, I'm not debating that. That's the reason why you get up in the morning and expect good things. It's the reason why unsaved people, yeah, unsaved people might get up in the morning and expect good things, but the unsaved people, most of them are really depressed. They're not true to themselves. They wake up. Here we go again. Don't tell me safe people don't experience that. They experience it. Remember, iniquity, sinful nature. Here we go again. This is unsafe for us talking. Get up, go to work. and just... They know they're being roboticized. You know, you know, unsafe people, you know you're being roboticized. Get up, go to work. Fall in a program. That's why you watch your TV programs. Fall in a program. They know. They know. They're just ignorant. They know. This is why I wake up. Remember, I have no job. I read. Uh, this is my time I spend in ministry, but I get up, expect good things happen today. Praise the Lord. When I say good things, inwardly, spiritual gifts. This is the fruit of the Spirit right here in this video. Praise God. Unsaved person be like, he's doing a YouTube video. A saved person might be like that. But truly, truly saved, that's you the Holy Ghost. Praise God. This right here is the fruit of the Spirit. I think I might suck because I'm losing my voice here. To go take a shower, but... Uh, uh, yeah, you're destroying, the, you're turning the blessed hope into a cursed hope. Think about what you're saying, you post triggers. Uh, they told me Kane Owen is influenced by this guy called Rasmussen. From what I'm hearing about Rasmussen, that, because he keeps saying in his book, that's, if you write a book, you're supposed to yield to God. Oh, yeah, I take advice for the brethren, but you keep saying according to Rasmussen, pointing to other people in your book, according, according, according. Now I look up the Rasmussen guy talking about Ken Hovind's book, What is the World is Going On for Heaven's Sake, whatever. And I bet if I look up, I don't even need to look up Rasmussen. You know why? He's a Jesuit choir. Has to be. Because the guy said he, he's getting, uh, he's a, he tutored Ken Hovind. I think he tutored Steve Anderson too. Do I get tutored by people? Yeah. But my final authority is in that book. Final. Without a question. Book is the final authority. Vicar Christ in me is my final authority. What they tell me, I don't care if I admire or not, I put it to the fire. What are they saying? Let's put it to the fire. If it consumes it, it's no good. God's a consuming fire. If it stands a test of the fire, what fire I'm talking about? Test the fire is that book. That book is fire. If you need to look at that book as fire, the King James Bible. It's a, it's a fireball. Oh, he's a sorcerer. He's a devil's fire. No. Devil likes takes creation, creation of God is fire. Devil takes it, gives it to man. Prometheus, look up your. I love. I used to really like Greek mythical, Roman mythology. Of course, when. How, how much times I have to tell you this? We're, we're in a nothing's changed. It could be 2016. It could be 2046. We're still in a pagan world. January, month of January, named after the Roman god Janus. March, my birthday, of my flesh. Mars. Roman God of War. All the planets named after Roman gods. Monday. I'm not, I'm not saying it, it's a. There's nothing you can do. I'm just saying there's nothing you can do about it. That's, that's the devil's template. That's the devil's system. Don't think the devil 
won't, won't make you sin it make make you sin you have to do it just just be aware that you're doing it I'll, I'll explain that next but Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Thursday Thor as in Avengers Thor Monday Moon Day Friday Freya when they used to eat fish fornicate I'm not saying it's a sin I'm just it's a sin if you're not aware of this you're in ignorance I'm not saying a sin okay he said Friday is the day of fornication me not worship no see how the devil can confuse you I, yeah, am I the only one think? Why do they call Monday Monday? This is why you question everything. Why do they call Monday Monday? This is how a safe person should go about life. They call March Mars. Why? Why do they call this month March? Why do they call January January? Hours. Emmanuel saying hours is nothing more but horse, the word horse. But the, the letters interchangeable. Like Santa, Satan, Santa Claus, here comes Satan. Hours, horse. What is he talking about? Let me investigate. I'm just saying question everything. Question your faith. Don't tell me don't question your faith. That's what Paul says. Examine yourselves. Question God. I'm omnipotent, omniscient, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. I'm going to be going down me too. You think I'm going to be offended? I might be offended. If you doubt, but I won't be offended. Question, question. God said examine yourselves. Go and question your faith and question me. Don't tell me there's not parts of your life that you don't understand why God put you through it. Like when he sent COVID to jail. There's a reason for everything. Everything ha happens for a reason. God's providence. He didn't understand it, but he accepted it. Praise God in that effect. Like, I don't want to try to demonize Ken Hovind. I just think he's he's walking in darkness with this no repentance gospel and mingling, yoking with unbelievers. I have a lot of views of Ken Hovind. As far as creation, he is the he is the he is the the man. Probably the other people, but I'm talking about we need to get into it. That's him. Everybody has a gift, and he will get rewarded handsomely because I think he's saved for that gift he's employing. God imparts every gift, but scripture, I don't know. My mind, I think, is understanding scripture. Like I said, uh, I'm, I'm with computers, I take it logically, analytically, not on my mind, not on, just my mind, by yielding to the Holy Ghost, God's mind. I take it, I break it down, that's how I do it. Very, you know, that's my gift, that's why I do this video. So yeah, you can uh yeah, you can don't think it's how ignorant you guys are, you don't even know it. Save the not save people. Use money. There's no such money. Use the devil's money, dollar bill. Remember I just told you bills out of you. Do you know by using that technically speaking, you're stealing? I gotta feed my family. Absolutely. I'm just saying, are you aware of it? Hey, I'm just saying, are you aware of it? Remember, ignorance itself is sin. I wasn't aware of it. You was in sin. Oh, he means, okay, burn my money. It, it's sin. Because it's a IOUs. I'm stealing from people. I'm not giving them nothing. I'm just giving them IOUs. Where, that's all you're doing. You're distributing IOUs. We're den of thieves, like Christ says. That's what the money changers were doing. Hey, it's not biblical. Let me make it biblical. Money changers, that's what they were doing. Taking people's real gold. Here's the first bank. Take the real gold. Because people can't carry bags of gold back in the days. I'm a banker in the times of Christ. I'll take your gold. Here's this dollar bill. It's redeemable in this gold. This whatever. I don't know what they had. Dollar bill is worth one gold. But I'm going to cheat. Oh, you gave me three pieces of gold? Let me give you one dollar bill. You give me ten pieces of gold? I'll give you three dollar bills. You see? Money changers. Y'all made my father's house a den of thieves, and that's why he lost. He didn't lose it. He's under control. Righteous. That's righteous indignation. You heard that word before? Him turning that place upside down. Jesus Christ, y'all made my father's house a den of thieves. Money changers. So sin to, I'm not saying it's sin. I already know you guys are going to say that. Oh, you're saying it's a sin to use this demonic money, which is made of the devil. Federal Reserve Act was a pact from the devil. Someone said that. Absolutely. Be aware of it. Be aware of it. Don't don't stop using money. Provide your own. I'm not saying stop using the devil's money. You need it to provide your own. Remember, you're in the devil's system. Property tax. You know that goes to the public school, which Martin Luther calls the gates of hell. Get them while they're young. That's what Hitler said. Get them while they're young. Property tax goes to public schools. You stop paying my property. Or well, you're, you're not providing your own for your own now. You're wasting your infidel. I'm just saying be aware. These are examples of how devil got you in sin, you don't even know it. You don't think he got me in some ignorant sin? Of course he does. 
Don't, you know, there's only one man that's not ignorant of sin. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. He has, everyone's ignorant for something. I just talked about Charles Lawson. I believe he was saved. He's a fire brimstone preacher out of Knoxville, Tennessee. He has a cross on his podium. That's how I'm going to go to church. Even he said we're ignorant of everything. You're right, Lawson. You're ignorant of that. This, this Christian, I went on a blog, back and forth. No, no, that's a Christian symbol. Go ahead. Graven image, oh, they twist the scripture. Go ahead. No graven images. I don't need a cross to say I'm a Christian. Uh, the movie Cyborg with Van Damme. They humiliated him, beat him up, tied him to a cross. They didn't nail him. They tied him to a cross. Oh, they didn't nail him. Doesn't matter. But he was on a cross. Look up the movie Cyborg with John claude Van Damme. He must be a Christian. He died for the faith. No, it's humiliation. They used to chop the heads off of the people, like Oliver Cromwell, soldier for Christ, put his head on the spire. We don't like uh, uh, people running their mouth, questioning the Catholic Church. You're questioning God if you question us. Put a head on the spire. Make that as an example. Uh, the, the show, uh, very edifying to me. Yeah, like I said, watch TV if it edifies you. No discernment, don't watch TV. That show, Wayward Pines, you know what they did at the season finale? Uh, I don't know if it was a cross, but it, it's, it's about uh, you, confining people. It's like Plato's allegory in the cave. I'm not going to explain that. You, you research that. Keeping people in line. This is the only city in the world. Everything else is of the devil, which is really... Remember, Christians about getting out of your comfort zone. The devil wants you to keep you in your comfort zone. So... How do I keep these people in comfort zone? You tell them the penalty for not keeping themselves in the comfort zone. Remember, ignorance is bliss. The truth is ugly and horrific to an unsafe person. I don't know if it was a cross. I need to watch it again. But they basically have dead people. I don't know if they were like this, but they were probably like this on a pole where the sign says, don't leave. Those are the people that try to leave. It's humiliation. It's a sign. Look, we cross... We killed you, your Messiah. And that's what the devil says. I killed your Messiah and I'm going to make you on my side worship him, his death. Yeah, no, it's worship his, his, uh, his self, his, you know, what he did for me. No, no, no. He's dead on a cross. Okay. All these Jesus pieces, idolatry, all of them. Cross is crucified. Look, look at that. How you like that? I killed him. That's the devil. I boast. I, I killed your Messiah. That's a pride, point of pride. And for you to worship what I did, put crosses everywhere and make you bicker with each other. Cross is a satanic symbol. Look up the origin. Don't comment and say it's not. Do your homework. That's what Jordan Maxwell says. Even though he's of the devil, he got his name, Jordan Max, Jordan, Jordanius Maximus, out of Isis Unveiled of Madame Blavatsky, a Jesuit. But he always says this, better do your homework. Well, Jordan, do your homework because you're on the way to hell. Someone better do your homework. That's what he says. Love Jordan Maxwell. He's a he's a spiritual bastard, but he's a child of God. I'm just I'm Christ-like child of God. Don't tell me he's not a child of God. I can get edified. That's why I love your enemies. If you're love enemies is this. If you're not for truth, you're enemy. Even if you could be a nice guy all you want. So yeah, Jordan Maxwell says you better do your homework. Do your homework on this cross. It's been around in the days of Babylon, Babylonian God, Shamish. Verifiable historical fact. Oh, that's a different type of. No, there's no different types. No, no, it's not cross upside down. Okay, it's upside down, sideways, right side up. No symbols. I don't need a. I don't even need a Jesus loves me shirt. I know he loves me. So yeah, I'll end with this. I'm thinking I won't make no videos today, but there's no I anymore. It's he. I is replaced with he. I might do 15 more videos. Today, I might do 10, I might not do none. It's what God puts on my heart. Yield to the Holy Ghost. I may yield to Him, and He may say, don't do a video, and I do a video. No, I'm going to do it in the flesh. Let me do another video. In the flesh. No. not a, It's a good work, but you're doing it in the flesh, son. You'll fail. Filthy rags. No. Do it at my timetable. Don't worry about what these other Christians says. They might be saved. No, you need to do it now. Now. Do this, do this, do this. No. You're in God's time. I might have to do a video of God's timing. Timetable. No. Well, God puts it on my heart to do something. I do it. Most of the time. 
through sanctification, through the blessed hope, it becomes more and more. Man, we're supposed to be conformed. Be not conformed in the this world, but be transformed. You know, it's funny. That verse is on a... <laughs> glad I thought of this. I did, I glad I thought of this. No, I didn't thought of it. Holy Ghost says, give him this. See what I'm saying? Total depravity. Don't tell me I didn't just sin right there. I thought of this. It wasn't a willful. Who cares? Sin is sin. It wasn't wolf, out of willful ignorance. It was ignorance. No, take those I, I, out of... I am with Joe Osteen out of your mouth. I am, I am, I am. Ultron and Avengers said I am. Take that I am out of your mouth. David Icke said that. I am. No ice. Yeah, he, he put in my heart to say this. I drive by. Uh, I live in Orlando. Uh, there's a, what's he called? A mosaic, you know, graffiti. I'm surprised they didn't tear that down. Don't worry. When it's judgment, they're going to tear that down. Damn, this hate speech. But there's a, for you guys live in Orlando, there's a, where is, what street? Sinful flesh. Don't tell them the street. Make them want to go eat. But anyway, this is like a mosaic on the wall. It says that verse from Romans. Be not conformed. I drive by there when I used to work. What a coincidence. I used to go to work. I used to drive by that verse every day. Coincidence. Be not, it says, be not conformed. It's that verse from Romans. Be not, be, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. Be not conformed, but be transformed into the renewing of your mind. What a coincidence. I drive by every day when I used to work. I might give me another job when I have to drive by there again. See? I, 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 there's no eyes. They have me go again in eyes. Go deliver my depraved flesh. It's he. Not talk, oh, you're talking yourself in the third person? No. He as in he. I do the will of my father, my mind. Okay, I know, I know you're hungry. I know you're tired. I want you to talk about this, but I don't get that from now. I think he wants me because he knows the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. I get in. I don't have the past loss in these people, man. They got lung power, boy. If I speak like they speak, Pentecostal, 30 minutes, I'll pass out to the floor. This is an hour and I'm done. He does, he puts, I'm talking about, I'm not saying he's more above me. I'm just saying. Just the way he speaks. You can preach. There's preachers that preach like I'm preaching now in the church. I'm talking about in church setting. I mean, I'm not, preach, I'm not preaching to you. I'm evangelizing you. Big, big difference. If I'm preaching, it, it would be. I guess you can preach from the Bible. You say, turn to your Bibles. But I think preaching more has to be in a physical setting. Like you physically see my important. I'm evangelizing. I'm talking about preaching. Look up Charles Lawson preaching. He's like, he's anime. He's not you know, like me. Praise God. God doesn't want you to be a robot. That's a devil. Agent Smith and the Matrix, they all look the same. They're the devil. They conform to the world. Notice all of them are white. Of course, the greatest <laughs> enemy of the devil is white. White man. The greatest servant of God is white. White versus white. Every movie. This is why, this is why I say watch movies. Why is every movie is white on white? Because they're the devil of God. They're God's servant and devil's servant. They're the ones that... True history evangelized God's word to the ends of earth. Matrix. Kiana's half white. Kiana Reeves is Korean, but white skin. White. Agent Smith. He's Australian. White. White on white. Oh, they'll have black people talking blacks. Can't let people know. That will confuse you. No, no, bull crap. It's white man's not my greatest servant. We everyone's servant. I'm talking about greatest servant. Don't don't confuse servant with greatest. Jesuit order. The guy's in supreme command is white. Until there's a black pope that's actually physically black, then I'll holler back and say, okay, yeah, his great servant is black. No. Yeah, they'll have some token black cardinals. When do we say black pope? I'm talking about Pope Francis. When have we ever seen a black pope? Black is in... No. White. White, okay? And the Antichrist, thanks for making that up, uh, bringing that up, God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, that's what he does. He's tell him this, tell him that. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you see a book? Me referring something? Okay, what else are we talking about? Okay, I said that. Let me talk about this next. You see me when you do that? I don't rehearse. As you hip hoppers, freestyling, off the dome. Actually, it's off God's dome. Sorry for use slang way, but I'll use a hip hopper. But that's destroying the slang. Yo, what up? Destroying God's language. I'm speaking English. Oh yeah, I may evangelize someone. Um, maybe you're in sin, but uh, 
anyways, this Antichrist. It's even Chuck Missile. I told you everybody can be misled. It's because of him. It's really because of God. Because God chose him to say, it's no doubt, it's blessed hope, doctrine and image. But he believes the unless I'm mistaken, God will convict me. Antichrist is from Syria and all this Middle Eastern. No. Neither that guy I was talking about doesn't agree. Fine. Some people say he's Jewish. No. That's the second beast of the Lamb, the Jewish prophet. Look. He rises from the dead. He's your Messiah after three years. Gotta make sure the Jews run everything. Antichrist is a white Gentile. Sword wound. He dies. Three days. He rose again from the dead. The 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 lamb, the prophet, he's all prophesizing this. This is gonna happen. I might have to do that next. I'll do that next. See what I'm saying? I say I'm not doing no videos. Yes, you are doing videos. <laughs> I'm gonna have you this way. He, he, he's not audibly saying it. Remember, God talk, talks to me in my own thoughts. I think it's my own thoughts, but it's not. The devil wants to make you think it's your own thoughts so you can do your own self righteousness. No. These are thoughts of God. So I'm gonna do my next video is gonna be Antichrist. Who is he? Biblically uh, point that out. Because we're in the end times. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Peace.